Hello, I'm Bishop Paul of the Reformed All Catholic Church, Diocese of South Australia. Today is the second Sunday in Ordinary Time, and I'd like to share with you today the readings from today's Mass, starting with a collect. Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the prophet Isaiah. About Zion I will not be silent. About Jerusalem I will not grow weary until her integrity shines out like the dawn and her salvation flames like a torch. Nations then will see your integrity, all the kings your glory, and you will be called by a new name, one which the mouth of the Lord will confer. You are to be crowned of uh, splendor in the hand of the Lord, a princely diadem in the hand of your God. No longer are you to be named forsaken, nor your land abandoned. But you shall be called my delight, and your land the wedded. For the Lord takes delight in you, and your land will have its wedding. Like a young man marrying a virgin, so will the one who built you wed. You as a bri the bridegroom rejoices in his bride. So will your God rejoice in you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading is from the letter, the first letter to the Corinthians. There is a variety of gifts, but always the same Spirit. There are all so sorts of service to be done, but always to the same Lord. Working in all sorts of different ways in different people, it is the same God who is working in all of them. The particular way in which the Spirit is given to each person is for a good purpose. One may have the gift of preaching, with wisdom given by the Spirit, another may have the gift of preaching instructions. Given by the same Spirit, and another the gift of faith given by the same Spirit, another a gift of healing through this one Spirit. One the power of miracles, another prophecy, another gift of recognizing spirits, another the gift of tongues, and another the ability to interpret them. All these are the work of the one, the same Spirit, who distributes different gifts to different people, just as he chooses. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited. When they ran out of wine, since the wine provided for the wedding was all finished, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said, Woman, why turn to me? My hour has not come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. And there were six stone jars, water jars standing there, meant for the ablutions that are the customary among the Jews. Each could be hold twenty or thirty gallons. And Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them to the brim. Draw some out he, now, he told them, and take it to the steward. They did this. The steward tasted the water, and it had turned into wine. Having no idea where it came from, only the servants who had drawn the water knew. 
the steward called the bridegroom and said, People generally serve the best wine first and keep the cheapest sort until the guests have had plenty to drink. But you have kept the best wine till now. This was the first of the signs given by Jesus. It was given at Cana in Galilee. And he let his glory be seen, and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Wedding Feast at Cana This Gospel reading holds a lot. Apart from being the first miracle that Jesus um, made, the first miracle, Also, a lot of people focus in on the role of Mary as well. And a lot of people say too, especially if they're not Catholic, why do you worship Mary? Well, we don't worship Mary as such. She is the mother of God. We honour her in that role. Then, of course, people say, why do you pray to Mary? We pray to her to intercede with Jesus. A good example of that was what happened here. Mary was approached with a concern that they had run out of wine. And, of course, when Jesus, when Jesus uh, said to his mother, Woman, why turn to me? My hour has not yet come. It almost sounds like he was having a little bit of harsh words to his mother, but not really. But of course, she told the servants, Do whatever he he, he told us to do. She knew what would happen. She asked Jesus to, to provide some wine or help out. She knew. And that's why quite often we as Catholics approach Mary to approach her son. for whatever favours it may be, whether it's for a loved one in the family or to help you get better if there's a sickness. If you remember at Calvary, Jesus gave Mary to be our mother. How often do children go to their mother first? Instead of going to the father to ask for something, they'll ask mum first, and then mum will talk to dad. Likewise. And of course in the reading from the Corinthians, we talk about the spirit and the many gifts that are given to us. We are all given a gift by the Holy Spirit. Not all the same. Some are given the gift of healing. Some are given the gift of prophecy. And speaking in tongues and interpretation of tongues. Some are given the gift, given the gift of preaching, spreading the word. Stop one for a while and just think, well, what's my gift? Some people say, you might have the gift of the gab. But well, to a point, that's not bad. Because the important thing is to know when to be quiet. What is your gift? Everyone should have the gift of love. To pray, 
pray to our Heavenly Father. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.